Hi, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at engineering science N2 and we're looking at the topic hydraulics. However, in this video, we're just going to do a few questions that have come up, just two questions. Uh, for the introduction, we did a video earlier that uh, covered basically all the, the theory that you need to know about hydraulics. Uh, just a quick recap of what we did. We did properties of liquids, we did Pascal's law, we did pressure, and we also looked at gauge pressure uh, pressure that obeys Pascal's law and pressure at a depth. We also looked at atmospheric pressure, we discussed what it is, and we also looked at absolute pressure. So uh, with engineering science N2, uh, basically you need to know your theory. And we also looked at density, we discussed uh, briefly about density. So uh, in this video, we'll just look at two, two questions that will be very uh, helpful. And with engineering science N2, it is not uh, this this topic does not carry a lot of a lot of weight come to your exam so that's why i'm just doing two questions that i think will help you <clears throat> however let me emphasize this uh with engineering science n2 you need to know your theory uh things like define things like uh, uh differentiate between absolute pressure or gauge pressure and also list the properties of liquids so in N2, basically know most of your theory and get to understand what you'll be dealing with. So with, uh, with all that theory that we know, let's jump into our first question. And our first question uh, reads as follows. The gauge pressure on the body of a diver underwater is 820 kilopascal. The density of the water is uh, 1,025 kgs per cubic meter. Calculate the depth of the diver under the water. Then the next question says, calculate the absolute pressure. So with this question, what we have is, we must very much take note that what we have as our pressure is a gauge pressure of 820 kilopascal. And also like I always say, take note of the prefix values, 820 kilopascal. Then the density of the water kgs per cubic meter however if the density of the the water or the liquid that you're dealing with is not given in the question uh, you check it on the on the information page of your exam probably it will be on the first page or at the uh, last page near the formula page so that is what we are looking at the first question says calculate the depth so what we know is that it is a gauge pressure. We don't need to do anything with that. Uh, pressure at a depth is equals to the density times gravity times the height. What they're asking us for is our height or our depth. We have our pressure, gauge pressure, 820 kilopascal. We have our density, 1025. We have our acceleration due to gravity. So we, we can manipulate this uh, over... Then as well, density, okay. What we have is our height, pressure over density times acceleration due to gravity. So basically this is what we are dealing with. Uh, when we substitute our information, what we have is, we have our pressure. Now, our pressure is kilo. So we're going to multiply this times 10 to the power three over our density, which is 1025 times our acceleration due to gravity 9,8 and our answer is uh, so our answer is 881,633 meters so that will be the depth at which this diver is all right i hope that that makes sense yeah so for our next question it says calculate the absolute pressure absolute pressure Absolute pressure is equal to your gauge pressure plus your atmospheric pressure. Uh, regarding the absolute pressure, we, uh, in our earlier video we discussed that you, you need just the gauge pressure plus the atmospheric pressure. That gives us our absolute pressure. Uh, however, just check the, the link that I'll remember to put in our description. Uh, but with absolute pressure, gauge pressure, and atmospheric pressure, we, dis we discuss those, those uh, three. So with this, we just get our gauge pressure, which is 
given our 820 atmospheric pressure check on the information page however i mentioned that this is a constant the atmospheric pressure is a constant which is 101.3 kilopascal so we'll take our 820 plus our 101.3 now with this all of them are in kilo with this all of them are in kilo and we will remember to add all of those up well for our next question the question reads as follows calculate the density calculate the density of mercury and what we are looking at is mercury calculate the density of mercury if the absolute pressure very important that you know what kind of pressure you're looking at at the bottom of the column containing the mercury is 180,9 kilopascal the mercury forms a height of 600 millimeters in the column so our height is 600 millimeters that is the height or that is the depth of the column so at the bottom of 600 uh, millimeters we have an absolute very important that you know that we are dealing with absolute pressure so with this one the first thing that we do is we are going to get our gauge pressure uh, and the reason is because with this formula pressure is equals to density times gravity times height the question is asking us for the density but this pressure that we get here is a gauge pressure so we cannot go ahead and use this absolute pressure in there we first have to obtain our gauge pressure and that is what we use so how do we go about getting gauge pressure what we said was absolute pressure is equals to our gauge plus our atmospheric so in this atmospheric uh, in this uh, absolute pressure we need to remove our gauge pressure so therefore our gauge pressure is equals to our absolute pressure minus the atmospheric pressure so we have our 180,9 minus 101,3 everything is in kilopascal atmospheric pressure is also in kilopascal uh, and what we get is 79,6 kilopascal so this now is our gauge pressure this now is our gauge pressure and that is what we'll use there to calculate for our density we have our acceleration due to gravity which is 9,8 we have our height which is 600 or our depth 600 millimeters so we can go ahead and calculate we can manipulate but in this case we are looking for our density uh, density is equals to the pressure over gravity times height all right then we can uh, substitute our pressure 79,6 now this is kilo to the power 3 over 9,8 times 600 now this 600 is millimeters like I always say please take note of the prefix values 600 millimeters so this 600 will multiply by the prefix value of milli which is a negative a negative 3 and then we can divide that and we get our answer uh, this one will be 13537 uh, this is the density the unit for density is kgs per cubic meter okay so in this case or in this question uh, we have managed to get our density for the mercury which is uh, 13537 kgs per cubic meter so basically with our n2 those are the kind of questions that we'll be getting uh, but also know your theory know your know your definitions and know all those uh, calculations basically we'll be looking at just a few calculations absolute pressure uh, gauge pressure atmospheric pressure and also the density and as well as the height or the depth of uh, of the diver or the the depth into a liquid so basically that is what we'll be looking at